All right, guys, it's time to get after this mustache a little bit. A little scary, but we'll, we're going to try it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we discuss tips and tricks for your beards and mustaches. Uh, we do some product reviews and unboxings and we've got a beard advice series where you guys can send in a couple pictures of me to the email address you see below. I take a look at it for a couple weeks. You get featured in your own beard advice series video, so make sure you check that out. And today we're doing a mustache trim. I can't stand it any longer. Um, I'm still going to keep the big look. We're going to trim a little bit off the edges and we've got to get some bulk out from around here because it's really starting to get into all of my food and everything. Uh, you can kind of tell when you uh, aggravate it a little bit or coax it. You start moving my bottom lip. If it's catching my bottom lip, when I'm moving it back and forth, anytime I put something in my mouth, it just goes right in there. So uh, not fun. So I've been playing around with this for a couple months. Uh, so when I trim it, one thing I've tried doing was uh, just in the middle is to make a little fishtail, which is pretty much cleaning up this little area here, making a little triangle in it and then having everything else come out. Uh, that worked okay. Uh, then the other option is to kind of take a little spot here and just cut it straight across. Uh, and then you're kind of creating a little bit of clearance there, uh, still having some hair to the top lip. Uh, and then you've got this other stuff that's coming down. So um, how long is my mustache? Let me show you. I mean, I can turn into Cousin It and not have a, uh, a mouth left. So it's really, really long. I don't really want to cut it when it's like laying down like this. I think I could, and I might try that sometime, but I'm going to be cutting hairs that are just fine living up here when I comb it. I really just want to get the ones that are being aggravating. So that's kind of my, uh, the way I'm going to do this. I've seen a lot of barbers do that as well. I don't really see, and I have seen some kind of come down like this and uh, cut, cut their way through it. But that's usually on a little bit smaller mustache, not the big swooping epic mustache, if you want to call it that. So let me kind of comb it back in place and see what we can do. All right, so uh, I've got smaller scissors. These are the beer brand scissors, so they're pretty small profile. And then I've got some little bitty mustache trimmers, uh, which do come in kind of handy because they've got a little more maneuverability through there. So I might try those first and see what I can do. So I'm not planning on going all the way up and making the little triangle. I'm just going to kind of get a little flat spot here. And then uh, anything else that's hanging really low, I'll try to blend that in as best I can. So, And then I'll take some off the ends. It's weird. One end, I can never get it to be symmetric. This end swoops around more and this end just kind of blends in more. This one grows slower than this end. It's all crazy. Anybody else have that problem where you got two different sides, do two different things? You lose that symmetry. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is kind of use my bottom lip to pull, in, pull down some of those hairs that are getting in my mouth. And then I can go back and take a look and see if I can get rid of some of those. So the last time I did this, I took more off of this side, which was the more aggravating side. Now this, this time it seems to be this side's coming down a little bit further. Uh, the other thing that I've done the last time I did a major trim was I kind of pulled all of this up and then this little row of hairs, it's a whole little row on the bottom that goes straight down and don't, don't really support my mustache at all. They're just aggravating. Uh, so I kind of took all of those off. And that seemed to work okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that this time or not. Let me comb it out again. 
and I'm by no means an expert at this. Uh, I'm just trying to do something that works for me. Maybe I'll take some off the ends next because uh, I don't really want the big handlebar that curls way up. So it's kind of getting out there right now. So I'll use a little bit bigger scissors for that. I've seen uh, barbers where they kind of roll, uh, twist everything together. I've done that where I kind of keep everything together and then went inside, style it back. I've noticed it doesn't really look right. I've got some that kind of stick up too high. So I kind of do a hybrid. I try to group it all together and then I'll come out here and trim some of that off. Let me get a little bit on the side. By the way, mustache trims, you can do them. I don't usually do them the same day I do a beard trim. I usually do it kind of in between because for mine, my mustache is kind of separate from my beard. So I'm not worried about blending it in. Also, it usually takes me a couple of days to get all the hairs right because I think I'll be good. And then one hair will stick down or I'll comb it out the next day and I'll have a couple more hairs that I'll have to go back and get. So it's a good thing about doing it yourself. You can always uh, do a little bit more the next day. Okay, let me comb that out. Okay, so that's better on the sides. Took off about quarter of an inch, something like that. The other thing that I've got is where does your mustache end? Where does your beard begin? So you kind of want your mustache to end at the corner of your mouth. So I can kind of take that and um, get that out of the way. And then I'll have these random hairs that are kind of like mustache hairs, but kind of not. Uh, a lot of times I'll take down some of that. Um, because it doesn't they just seem to kind of go straight down instead of go to the side to like all the rest of the mustache hair so i think i'll take a few of those down got to be careful i don't want to do anything that's going to mess my beard up so let's see if i can get to where you guys can see that got my mustache out of the way and then it's these hairs right here It's kind of the same thing I did on my video where I was uh, growing out the mustache um, and separating it. Uh, I think it was called separating an epic mustache. You can check that out if you want. But it's that same kind of move. Shorten just a couple of those hairs there that are kind of hybrid hairs. They're in between mustache and beard hairs. Let me see if I have any on this side. Yeah, got a few there. If you can see that, take down just a few of these. I'm going to go back and kind of on the underneath side, the little hairs I can feel kind of going towards my mouth. Try to take those away. All right, and I think I'll leave it there because the video is getting kind of long, but that's kind of the process I'm going to do this time. And it's still a nice big separate mustache. 
I took some off the ends. Uh, I made a little flat spot in here, trying to keep most of this, but I did uh, get some that was hanging down the furthest. I'd kind of agitate it with my bottom lip, and now I'm not catching very many with my bottom lip, so hopefully that would stay out of my food a little bit more. All right, notice I didn't really do anything to any of these hairs up here. Uh, because of mine's the big swooping kind of mustache, I don't need to trim those down any. Okay, if it was a really short mustache, I would want to trim some of these down so they wouldn't go straight up my nose. But since they're so long, they don't end up going up my nose when I sleep or anything like that. Uh, the other thing I'll, I'll do uh, sometimes is just right around the edges. Sometimes on this side especially, I have some that want to go straight to the left. That's my left. Uh, instead of down and, and going... Be behaving and going down with the rest of them. So sometimes I'll kind of edge that out a little bit, but that's also something you do when you kind of fix your cheek line uh, when you do a big beard trim. All right, so a little bit there about tidying up this big old mustache. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.